estamos en la hermosa ciudad de Mérida. Delicioso. Un agua chile de camarón. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to Display Trivia. We've had our cake tonight, but will we eat it too? Well, that all comes down to what y'all are going to do in this, this game. $1,000? I mean, that is a lot of deep fried Oreos. Tonight's pot, that's right, is $1,000 if you missed that wheel spin. Make sure you make it next time. It's a lot of fun. It's like a whole adrenaline rush. Now, here are the rules for the game. You'll have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Hello, welcome, come one, come all. I see people tuning in, getting excited. I see a woo in the chat. Y'all throw me some emojis. Show me you're excited. Whatever an excited emoji is to you. Yes, Maxwell Bruno gave me some smileys and a little star. I'm loving it. Who's here for the trivia? Who is here and excited and ready to win? I'm seeing peace signs and flames. Dab31 is here. What up, what up, what up? Welcome, crew. It is time to get this party started. If you consider quizzing a party. But yeah, let's do a practice question, shall we? Tell me. What kind of sports do you prefer to watch? College sports, professional sports, or I don't watch sports. I mean, I gotta say, I always tune into Nathan's hot dog eating contest. That is my kind of athleticism. Mm. Those folks stretch. Yeah, the elastic in their waistbands. The current record is 76 dogs in one hour. What? Please, please do not attempt that without adult supervision, okay? Not even for National Junk Food Day. So what did you all choose? What do we got here? All right, we got professional sports. You like to watch a pro. Did you all know that Tiki Barber, ex-NFL player, has a show here on Display TV? Well, he does. You got to check that out if you like watching those pro sports. All right, let's see who's got pro trivia playing skills. It's time to quiz. Let's do this, folks. Question one. According to the book of Exodus, God gave Moses how many commandments? Three, 10, 20. According to the book of Exodus, God gave Moses how many commandments? Three, 10, 20. So, funny story. I actually tried this with my roommates and uh, let's just say it didn't go over quite as well. Yeah, they weren't too keen on the whole, thou shalt not get mad at Sarah when she eats your leftovers thing. I mean, in hindsight, carving that out on stone tablets was probably a bit too much, but I have no regrets. Yeah. Don't, don't give commandments to your roommates and definitely don't carve them out in, in the shared furniture or even their furniture, right? That's a good tip. If you learned anything from trivia, it's that. 94% of you should feel really good about your choices though because you got those 10 and thou shalt move on to question two. The song Let It Go is from a film by what animation studio? DreamWorks, Illumination, Disney. The song Let It Go is from a film by what animation studio? DreamWorks, Illumination, Disney. Did you know this song won an Oscar? Mm-hmm. Also funny, when I told my roommates to let it go, I was not met with the same enthusiasm. Oh no. All right, so maybe I put on the Elsa dress and I got a snow machine. I don't know why they keep calling me dramatic. Anyway, I've let it go, much like the folks over at Walt Disney Animation Studio who made Frozen and then made a crap ton of money. Hey, yeah, just like 94% of you did. On to question three. Which is a name for a party leader in a parliamentary government? Prime Minister, King, Sheriff. Which is a name for a party leader in a parliamentary government? Prime Minister, King, Sheriff. 
There are many names the leader of a parliamentary government can have, but we're asking you to choose from this list, just this list. Some parliaments have chancellors and oh boy, am I glad we don't have one of those because I could never ever think about someone being called a chancellor and keep a straight face. Good day to you, chancellor. And uh, good day to 97% of you. Uh, what? Well done. All in favor of Q4, say aye. The music group that sang Who Let the Dogs Out is from what Caribbean nation? Turks and Caicos, Barbados, the Bahamas. The music group that sang Who Let the Dogs Out is from what Caribbean nation? Turks and Caicos, Barbados, the Bahamas. Did we ever find this out, by the way? Who, who let them out? Well, if the dogs haven't come back by now, I mean, I kind of I kind of doubt that they ever will. I'm sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but sometimes you gotta face the music, which I admit is easier to do when the tune is catchy as heck. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? It, yeah, it never gets old. 93% of you remember the Baja men posed this fateful question, and yeah, they're from the Bahamas. Now it's time for us to pose our next one, question five. All are mode abbreviations on an automobile with an automatic transmission except PDH. All are mode abbreviations on an automobile with an automatic transmission except PDH. Obviously the opposite of an automatic transmission is a manual one or a stick shift as they're sometimes known. I'm more of an automatic girl myself and not just with cars, with everything. This beat, for instance, which is also supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh, I love it when you want to step. Thank you, Sierra and Missy Elliott for that one. And thank you all for coming in clutch. See what I did there? With the right answer. In an automatic vehicle, you can park, drive, idle, in neutral, or reverse. But we're gonna go ahead and move forward with 94% of you into question six. Coca-Cola released its first diet soda beverage in what decade? 1960s, 1980s, 2000s. Coca-Cola released its first diet soda beverage in what decade? 1960s, 1980s, 2000s. To answer this, you must know which diet soda was Coca-Cola's first. Ah, I remember my first. It was my prom. What? I was drinking diet that night because I didn't want to bust out of my gown. You all need to get your minds out of the gutter. I mean, just the, just the nasty parts. Keep the parts that you need to answer some trivia, all right? <sighs> yeah, keep those parts. Tab, debuting. In 1963 was the OG diet soda. Even though its sales were eclipsed by Diet Coke's emergence onto the scene in the 80s, Guys always want that hot new thing. Why do you think I had so much fun at prom? 34% of you know, woo, savagery on this one. Q7, let's do it. This breed of dog named for the patron saint of the Alps is the star of what 90s film franchise? Air Bud, Babe, Beethoven. This breed of dog named for the patron saint of the Alps is the star of what 90s film franchise? Airbud, Babe, Beethoven. You know what I heard about animal movie stars? Total divas on set. They never remember their lines and they need treats to do absolutely nothing. I mean, ask anyone here at display. Sarah Priebus, not a diva. Quite the opposite, actually. I don't expect people to give me treats. No, quite the opposite. I only throw food at people if they really piss me off. Don't miss my close up again, Scott, or you're finished. Finished! This question? Also finished, yeah. 89% of you fetched the correct answer. It's Beethoven, the Saint Bernard. Time for question eight. The main character in Stranger Things, whose name is a double digit number, likes what brand of frozen food? Stouffer's, Ego, Jimmy Dean. The main character in Stranger Things, whose name is a double digit number, likes what brand of frozen food? Stouffer's, Ego, Jimmy Dean. Uh, very appropriate for National Junk Food Day. Most of this stuff is gonna be pretty tasty, but probably not your best option. 
the best option in the frozen food aisle? Ice cream, duh. Look, I said it's National Junk Food Day. Lay off, would you? Oh, but you all cannot keep laying it on thick with these right answers today. 89% of you scarfing this one down. Let go my egos. Into question nine. All of the following were Billboard number one hits in the same year as the Watergate break-in, except Let's Get It On, Lean On Me, A Horse With No Name. All of the following were Billboard number one hits in the same year as the Watergate break-in, except Let's Get It On, Lean On Me, A Horse With No Name. Which one are we looking for here? I mean, my biggest question, where does Watergate lead to? I mean, a gate's gotta open up to something. Does this one just open up to more water? I mean, it just, it really doesn't make any sense. This is why I stay out of politics. It's just super confusing. You just get angry. It's, you know what the opposite of angry is? Happy, yes! Which is what I'm feeling when I see you getting the right answers. I am always rooting for my displaybies in this one. Yes. And I hope if you need help, any help in future questions, all you displaybies, you know you can. Yes. Lean on me. Which was a hit in 73, not 72, when that water gate opened up. Mm-hmm. 47% of you got that. Are you ready for the last question of the night? It's time for the final question. Q10. Which is not one of the five constants in this ancient Chinese philosophical tradition named for a Zhou dynasty thought leader? Benevolence, righteousness, loyalty. Which is not one of the five constants in this ancient Chinese philosophical tradition named for a Zhou dynasty thought leader. Benevolence, righteousness, loyalty. <laughs> My five constants? As in the five things that I need constantly? Attention, praise, snacks, cuddles, and attention. I mean, I know I, I said attention twice. I, I need a lot of attention. I do, that's why I do this. Sadly though, none of these are the answers that we're looking for. Yeah, nope. This school of thought is still widely recognized in many regions of East Asia. Yes, Confucius, you stay relevant, we see you. The five constants are benevolence, integrity, righteousness, proper right, and knowledge. Loyalty is one of the four virtues. Better luck next time, loyalty. You got this. Did any of you need better luck next time too? 71% of you made the correct selection and we got a bunch of winners. Woo, you came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge and you got paid. Bravo, bravo. Shout out those scores in the chat. Also, 